This is Gary. We were in the regiment together. His girlfriend Izzy and the little lad Jake. Hiya. Pleased to meet you. Ali's just finished a degree in textile design, haven't you, darling? That's right, yeah. Oh, you're going into fashion. I don't know, maybe. Right now, I'm not sure what my next step is. Look, we should get going, babe. Jake will be wanting the ice cream. Listen to the doting dad. He's a lucky kid. Hey, is that a dig at me? No, no, you're a great pops. Look, I've got to ask. Have we met before? I swear you look familiar. No, you uh, must have me confused with someone else. Yeah, you've probably seen him in some of my old army photos. You never forget a mug like his in a hurry, eh? No, that's not it. Never mind. It'll come back to me. It's amazing what you can forget sometimes. He's a little angel. Oh, when he wants to be. He can be right tear away in the mood tips, you can't, you eh? I wonder where he gets that from. But babe, we really, really should be going. Oh. It was nice to meet you. And you, again. See you later. I'm sorry for pitching up out of the blue. So you should be. Shut up, David. It's fine. It's just a bit of a surprise, that's all. I know I should have called first. I, I was going to. I looked up your number in the book, but I, I lost my nerve. Well, you soon found it again. I had to come. After your mum's letter. It was more than I could have hoped for. Well, I'm not one to bear a grudge. You're not kidding. That first time we talked, I knew there was a spark, but I thought I was kidding myself. Prison does things to you. Yeah, so will I in a minute if no, you don't do David, one. that's enough. I thought my last chance of happiness had gone, Gail. But when I read what you wrote about love and destiny... All right, that's I, enough. That's Come it. on. Wait. On your way. What are you talking about? David, put him down. He's off his head. Wait, just put him down. What were you saying? It's what you said. I could never have expressed it so well. If I've read it once, I've read it a hundred times. Mum, look. Uh, may I see that? I'm sorry, Michael. I'm afraid you've been the victim of a childish hoax. I've never seen this before. But if you didn't write it, then... You're still here? Yeah, and you better get used to it. Because you try sacking me, and I'll have you in front of an industrial tribunal quicker than you can say unfair dismissal. <laughs> You got a shame, have you? Well, you were the one who wanted to turn this into a war. I wanted to deal with this like grown-ups. You just want me to go quietly. Sorry, no can do. <laughs> Nick, stupid point scoring isn't going to change anything. It won't make you happy. Maybe not. But if I can't be happy, why should you two? Oh, have you heard yourself? This isn't about fairness. This is about punishing me and Cal. That's no more than you deserve. And what about Simon? Oh, uh, well, this doesn't have to hurt him. You know, I'll be uh, civil to you when he's around. What, and file the rest of the time? I'll cheers very much. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I can't be my usual happy-go-lucky self when it comes to my wife cheating. Right, OK, uh, yeah, shift finished five minutes ago. So unless you want to stay for a drink, for old time's sake. So this is what time is your birthday boy supposed to be showing his face? Oh, sure. Good long, man. You said that half an hour ago. Oh, no, guys, you're kidding me. It's not my birthday till tomorrow. Oh, um, Jace. Oh, Mum, you shouldn't have. There's no need, honestly. No, no, we didn't, actually. Unless you're not telling me to me. It's, it's a Steve's birthday, no, it's a special one. I mean, I mean, not that yours isn't special. She added hastily. Never mind, son. Maybe you'll let you blow his candles out. Yeah. Oh, maybe. <laughs> He's taking his time. Well, his last drop-off was the eye hospital. He'll stop for a pasty. At the eye hospital? There's a Greg's down the road. You know, he loves his comfort food. Comfort food? His friends and family want to throw him a party and he'd rather sit in a lay-by eating a sausage roll. Actually, he's more of a pasty man. Although he has been known to flirt with the odd meatball lattice in the past. How did he sound when you spoke to him? He didn't seem himself. Hello, base. All right, mate, where are you? 20 minutes away from pick-up. How was your pasty? Well, it's sold out. Well, it wasn't a total disaster. They've got a new girl behind the counter. She's got a... Mate, the phone's ringing. I'll speak to you later, yeah? Anything I can do, love? I hope not. Not if I've got to eat it. Well, there must be something I can do. No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, that was carrots, then. No, I can do it. Well, Dad, if you're looking for something to do, come and play with Jake's blocks. Uh, <clears throat> bit old for that, love. I meant with Jake, you'd have beggar. Hey, fancy getting the old team back together. Your son's got a wall needs building. No, I think you can manage without a Lerbera. 
You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm fine, although I think I might have lost my phone. Well, where did you last have it? In the gym. Must have left it there. Oh, do you want to borrow mine to give Callie a ring? No, it'll be just as quick to nip round, won't it? Thanks. I've been treading water since I got out. Then I got your letter. Um, that letter. Well, it was like a life belt. You know, someone to cling on to. I'm so sorry. What are you apologising to him for? He burgled our house. Yes, and he's paid the penalty. You had no right rubbing his nose in it. I mean, he must feel totally humiliated, like a complete and utter fool. I'm sorry I'm late. Mrs Pycross Latte went down the wrong way. She was in her right stick. What's he doing here? Well, I thought you'd be pleased. He is your new pen pal, after all. You're the strong yet sensitive man I've been yearning for. The answer to every question I've ever had. Look, I'm sorry, Gail. I didn't know you'd be sad enough to turn up here, did I? I mean, there's desperate and there's desperate. I beg your pardon? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. I shouldn't have sent it. It was lame. But I was angry with you. So why take it out on him? Why not? He's a good-for-nothing lowlife that deserves all he gets. Thanks for the tea. I must really... You I stay where you are. You had no right playing with his emotions. I mean, whatever Michael's done, he's still flesh and blood. Yeah, and I'll prove that in a minute. Come on, you. Out me house. Move. Ignore him. No. Finish your tea. No, really. I, I, I should go. I shouldn't oh, have come. No, yeah. I'm sorry if I've caused you... I, I, I'm sorry. Good riddance to bad rubbish, that's what I said. It's not as primitive as I thought it'd be. Thanks, I think. Yeah, I could definitely see myself working here. In front of house, meeting and greeting. Could you now? Now, Ellie's a stopgap. Until I get something better. Ali Abita. Hi, Babaji. If she's going to be the new receptionist, where does that leave me? Exactly where you are. Don't worry. I hear we got ourselves a new receptionist. But what about me and Gail? Uh, there's plenty of shifts for all of you. And you two are perfect for this place. Don't you think, Gary? What's that? <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, listen, I've, uh, I've lost my phone and I think it might be here. No one's handed it in. Well, do you mind if I, uh, just got around for it? Be my guest. I'll, uh, give you a hand. May as well start work while I'm here. Oh, like I say, Eccles found it down by the back gate. I mean, with my eyes, I'd not see the crown jewels. Oh, it's lovely. These charms are 40 quid a pop. So it's not yours, then? It is now. Hey, you can't do that. Find us keepers. Possession is nine tenths of the law. I I'm going to get ready for Steve's party. Hi. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Look, Trace. I'm sorry. The last thing that I wanted to do was to, to worry you. Yeah, well, you did. You do. Carla is getting stronger every day. Everything's going to be back to normal soon. I'll be back to normal. Yeah, well, good. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was a setup. Take Calf to the roller disco. Is that the best you could come up with? Well, you fell for it. I'm not going to the party. Oh, come on, Steve. Everyone's waiting for you. No, they're not. They're waiting to take the cellophane off the buffet, waiting to get wasted. Well, tell them they can crack on with my blessing and they can do it without me. You are being ridiculous. 40's just a number. No, it isn't. It's your audit. Just stop taking you. It's your reckoning. The only thing that I've got in my life that's worth a light is sat in this car. Do you mean Homer Simpson? Apart from that, I've got a Homer corkscrew, a fridge magnet, a pen, and I haven't bought any of them. What does that say about me? That you like the Simpsons? That that's who I am. Homer's my flipping role model. Oh, well, at least he's funny. Nothing funny about my life. Not if you're on the inside looking out. Nothing to smile about. Oh, I've got nothing to celebrate, so you go to the party because I won't be going. I don't deserve it. No. I am a paying customer, and therefore that means you have to take me wherever I say. So drive me to the Keys. 
Michelle. Just drive. Please don't tell anybody about last night. Anyone being the mother of your child, who's lovely, by the way. Yes, I know she is. And I messed up. Yes, you did. Why didn't you tell me about her last night? Slip your mind, did it? It's hard to explain. No, it's not. You wanted to get me into bed. Mentioning your wife and child might have spoiled uh, the mood. We're not married. Oh, well, that makes all the difference. I don't feel used at all now. And just so you know, I have never cheated on her before. I really regret it. Makes two of us. I don't know how I let it happen. I can't remember a thing. You really know how to make a girl feel special. Uh, Izzy deserves to know about the sleaze ball she's going out with. Please don't. Alia, bitte. I've got some paperwork for this eh? Then Katie can show you the ropes. OK, Babaji. What are you going to do? So they show the membership card and then they sign in there. Yeah? Right, I'm going to knock off now. I'm going to go to Rovers for a drink if you fancy it. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to live to home? No, I'm going to the pub with Katie for an orange juice. My granddad thinks you're leading me astray. <laughs> You all right? Oh, I've just had a run-in with Nick. Um, this is my daughter, Alia. Oh, hiya. I've heard a lot about you. More than I can say about you. Yeah, this is my friend Leanne. She runs a local restaurant. Nice to meet you. You too. Hey, right, you ready? Yeah? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> friend? I didn't want to spring it on her like that. You know, I want to pick my moment. You understand that, don't you? It's just text, see if you fancy joining her in the pub. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, go on, you two could do with getting out more. We can mind Jake, can't we? Absolutely, there's another two floors to go on here yet. It's a big job, you know. Oh, come on. I need pipe to make it less nice. Watch out, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, have a nice time. Bye-bye. It's good those two are making an effort, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Little acorns, yeah? Yeah. Little acorns. So? I'm not speaking to the back of your head. Well, I'm sorry, it's company policy, you're not allowed in the back with the punters. Fine. Steve, this is a pit. Well, this is my personal space. If you want to invade it, that's your shout. Where's all this coming from, anyway? I had a meatball lattice earlier. Not didn't... the crumbs. I mean, this whole midlife crisis routine. Is this because of Tina? Maybe she would be alive today if I would have had the guts to do the decent thing. And if I hadn't stupidly challenged Lloyd, then maybe. Listen, he... darling, you couldn't have known that any of those things were going to happen. Right? We all make mistakes sometimes. Yeah, but I make them all the flipping time, Michelle, don't I? And, you know, there comes a point where sometimes you have to realise that it's not just bad luck or bad decisions. That it, 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 It's a pattern, you know, that's who I am. You are the man I love. Flipping coward, Michelle. If I had a, a white feather for every decision ducked, every easy option, every person let down, then I'd be out of stuff for flipping Ida down and a 15 tog one and all. Do you really think I'd be with you if you were really like that? To be honest, Michelle, I don't know why you're with me. I mean, I look at you some mornings lying there and it, it beats me. If I were you, I would get out, abandon ship. I know I would if I could. Right. Come on, misery guts. Let's go and get a coffee. <laughs> Honestly, I can't keep up with you two. Talk about hot and cold. Oh, yeah, well, it's better than a lifetime of lukewarm. Are you kidding? I invented hot and cold. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. Well, my first boyfriend was Jimmy. Then I was engaged to Billy Walker. His mum ran this place. Then I married Ray, Tracy's dad. And then when we got divorced, I hooked up with Dirk. Well, he was a Dutchman. Mum, I really think we should leave it there. I mean, there's only four and a half hours to kick it out time. <laughs> if you fancied a night out, you could always go to the larks. Uh, do you know what? I'm not actually sure I fancied a drink after all. Give over. We're not going to pass up the chance of a babysitter. 
You'll be fine after your first one. Come on. Hiya. Oh, nice to see you again. You too. I'm just going to go to the bar. Oh, Where you been? Double. <laughs> You are right, yes, Paul? Well. 50. Hey. 50. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't stare, eh, Jess? And I thought my luck was out. <laughs> what are you going to do, mate? Any suggestions? I don't know, maybe the Foreign Legion will have you. <laughs> I'm glad someone finds it for me. I want some nuts. Makes three of us, I reckon. You got a girlfriend and all? Uh, yes, and I'm very happy with her. That's why I went home last night. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Hey, look. I warned you this coming back in the backside. That's why I went home. I'm leaving you two to it. Is there any way we can talk? Well, there's a yard around the back. I'll slip out in a bit. You follow on. Owen, oh, don't forget my nuts. Got so much going for you. Most blokes would swap places with you tomorrow. I don't know what they're waiting for. I'm ready now. Oh, do you know what? You must have been a hippo in a past life, because nobody wallows like you. What, do you blame me? Yes, I do. How many times do you need reminding? You've got a, a beautiful daughter. You, you own your own pub. Yeah, look at the mess I made of buying that. And yeah, Amy's gorgeous, but she was an accident. I didn't plan to be a daddy. It just happened like everything else. Being in my cab is the only place in the world I feel like I'm in the driving seat, like I'm in control. Right, well, OK, then. If that's what you really think, then what are you going to do about it? What can I do? Well, anything you like. But you're the only one that can make the change, Steve. I mean, I, I'll stand by you 100%, but I can't live your life for you. I don't know where to start. You say you don't face up to things that are difficult. So, I was about turning 40. Hmm? It's as good a place to start as any. Thanks, Mum. You missed your calling. It's a job for you here at Mills and Bean. <laughs> Cheers. Maybe I should have turned up for my English exam after all. Don't encourage her. They've tormented a vulnerable man. I mean, goodness knows what he might do now. Well, he can do what he likes, as long as he doesn't do it here. And what about me? I've been through a terrible ordeal, but I was coming out the other end. I was sorry. Yeah, and you did wind her up. So you decide to make fun of me. Go to ridiculous lengths. You know, Dave doesn't do things by arms. Now, hold on. I, I knew about that letter all right, but I wasn't the one who posted it. I mean, it, it was just a joke that got out of hand, that's all. Do you see me laughing, David? Is Michael laughing? I mean, if it wasn't so hurtful, it'd be pitiful. Well done. I was furious. I tried counting to ten. Yeah, well, next time, why don't you try and make it past three? Carl's daughter? Mate, I'd miss putting the lottery on this week. Mate, it's not funny. I don't know what she's going to do. <laughs> You're sick of the sight of me? What, no, babe? Well, didn't you spend enough time with Jess last night? I might as well go home. Sorry, yeah, I'll um, bring some drinks over. He said there'd be five minutes. The taxi driver could be anything up to an hour. You know, when I hit 40... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Steve. Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. Uh, sorry I'm late. If the sandwiches are all curled up at the edges, sorry, that's my fault. Let's be honest, I know how they feel. Forty, eh? Forty. They say life begins at, uh, I wish. Uh, but no, you know, you know, forty's not the end. It's just the uh, end of the beginning, as uh, Winston Churchill once said. The resemblance is uncanny. Yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Melanie. Uh, no, no, actually, no, no, no. Lloyd's, uh, Lloyd's been a very good friend over the years. He's always had the decency to leave every decade just as I arrive. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, you know what? I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, mainly because I couldn't be bothered to do the right thing. But from now on, that's going to change. I'm, um, I'm going to search for the hero inside myself. Oh, is that Winston Churchill as well? Um, people. <laughs> I'm going to be. I'm going to be a better partner. I'm going to be. I'm going to be a better father, and I'm. Uh, I'm going to be a better man. And um, 
when I'm 50, I'm not going to be stood behind this bar. I'm going to be retired. So it's Michelle. Oh, it suits me. No, I'm telling you, honey. You've heard it here first, I promise. I'm going to get us a nice little house round here and a holiday home in Spain. The swimming pool, the works. Oh, yeah? Are you going to get there? Air bus or pig? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. The old Steve MacDonald is dead. Now, from now on, I'm going to do everything I can to be a success. Oh, come here. Mm -hmm. Oh, get a room. <laughs> Already got one. You can walk the rest of the way, can't you, babe? <laughs> you took your time. Look, I'm fed up with playing games, all right? If you're going to tell her, just get it done. Tell her what? Uh, that we slept together. I'm not going to tell her that. Because unlike you, I'm not a liar. What are you on about? It never happened. It was never going to happen. So you mean I've been through absolute hell today for nothing? Why didn't you just... Because you lied to me. And Izzy. We may not have had sex, but do you think she'd want to hear the truth? So are you going to tell her what did happen? No. But not for your sake. I don't want my family finding out. Finding out what? You did nothing wrong. Not in your eyes. If my grandfather knew I'd been out clubbing, I'd kissed a guy and took him back to my mate's flat, well, let's just say he'd be disappointed. The only reason we didn't sleep together was because I don't do one-night stands. So I shouldn't feel too relieved. You've got a lot to think about. And we'll be back in Coronation Street Monday night at 7. Time to put the controversy behind them and get back to the football. Uruguay take on Colombia here tomorrow night from half eight. Next up, though, Griffiths Jones is here to reassure us that it'll be all right on the night. <laughs> 